Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. It is 1.05 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's about 58 degrees outside. It's cool, gray, fall day. This is November the 26th, 2016. And I full-time RV and I go camping in a Prius. If you're interested in either one of those things, go to my homepage and check out the playlist. Having said that, I got a comment. This is new. This will be new stuff. Anyway, <coughs> says, hey, Rusty, since you mentioned being tailgated in your recent video, I did because I was going up a hill and there was a car right on my butt, uh, and you've owned and driven Priuses for quite a while now, have you noticed that people tend to tailgate Priuses and just have to pass you up even if you're going 10 to 20 miles an hour over the speed limit? I've been a Prius owner for about two years now, and it seems that way to me. And I don't think it's my imagination. Perhaps you could do a video on your opinion and other Prius drivers could post their comments on this subject. Always take care, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I responded and told him that I would, uh, I just said, thanks for the comment, Prius owners. Maybe they're a special breed. And the others are just maybe jealous of the fact that the car is extremely fuel efficient. Da, 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 da. I thought I'd put together a short video on the subject. Anyway, so I just sat there casually and I looked on the internet and checked out a few things and guess what I found? There might be a lot of interest in something like this. Because what I did was I did a Google search for uh, why are Prius drivers so slow? Are they slow? I don't, I don't know. I go slow because I live in an area where there's hardly any traffic and I'm 71 years old. I've got a 2013 Prius. It's my third one. And yeah, I do drive slow. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it's really got some good stuff here. So but anyway, what, what the purpose of this video is, for those of you that have a Prius and you see this video, you know, throw in your comments as to what your experience has been driving your Prius. Have other drivers been aggressive towards you or uh, tailgated you or, you know, done other things that are unusual just because you or in a Prius, or you feel like they did it because you were just in a Prius, or, you know, are there people out there that don't like Prius drivers so much, you know, that maybe they're driving a diesel dually, and, uh, you know, but, you know, just whatever comments there are on each side, you know, you know, are Prius drivers different than any other driver? I doubt it. That's my opinion. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, but let's find out. But anyway, here's, here's a, you know, it says right here, it says, why are Prius drivers the worst kind on the road? <laughs> and then there's here, it says, Prius drivers are the absolute worst drivers in the, in the world. Uh, you know, and then here's the seven reasons why Prius owners are bad drivers. I'm going to click on that one. And uh, <laughs> I always feel like I'm pretty safe. Here it is. Got, this, guy, well, his name, this guy's name is Dominic Bartoloni. And anyway, he's a concerned citizen. Everybody's concerned. And anyway, driving in Southern California traffic is a soul-seizing grind, blah, blah, blah. Day in, day out, I am perplexed by the way Prius drivers execute everyday driving tasks with such utter disregard for those around them. Ever wonder what makes the Prius owners such awful drivers? Well, I do. I've spent countless hours behind Prius drivers contemplating on what makes them tick. My research is your game. Mr. Bartoloni's research is supposedly. He's come up with seven reasons. It's their first car. That's number reason number one. Yes, it's the only car they've ever known. Six weeks earlier, they were driving a white treeless Prius with a large AAA driving school sticker on the door. Number two, they can't hear the engine running. Hybrid Prius owners have a conundrum. Is my motor actually running? What is a motor? Since they don't actually know how the car operates, it's hard for them to understand when it's time to drive. Stopped in traffic, it gets so calm and peaceful inside that they forget they're even on the road. This explains the huge gaps between the car in front of every Prius. They're fidgety nerds. Fidgety nerds during covert ob covert ob observations. This guy's getting serious. During covert observations, I've noticed that nearly two thirds 
of all, nearly two-thirds, I don't know where he came up with that, of all Prius owners reach for something in the console or glove box while stopped in traffic. Okay, notice two-thirds of that. It's nearly 50% glass. Since the Prius is overwhelmingly manufactured out of glass, it's no wonder the drivers are uncomfortable and distracted. My God, have you seen the windshield? It's like nine cubic feet. Okay. It's the only vehicle you to require you to use sunscreen before you drive. Pretty weak. Number five, they're oversized people crammed into an undersized car. Possibly. More times than not, it's a gigantic person squeezed into a tiny car, whether it's a 6'9 Brad Garrett-looking mofo or a robust woman. Uh, da, 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 da. It's not uncommon to see drivers with arms pressed up against the window. Da, da, da. They support Bernie Sanders. that got to have something to do with their driving, I can tell you that. Not all Prius you know, support Bernie. They are out to save the planet. Whether it's the 50-something single scarf wearing in August paralegal or the sixth-year sociology major undergrad headed to their job at Foot Locker, they've just got one thing in common. They're out to save our planet. I'm just saving money. That's all I'm doing. I don't want to spend it at the gas pump. Uh, anyway, readers should consider this blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's Mr. Dominique Bartoloni. Bartoloni, give me some baloney. Bartoloni gave us some baloney, maybe, huh? <laughs> anyway, enough of Mr. Bartoloni. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, science confirms, science confirms that BMW and Prius drivers are the worst. Let's see what this one comes up with. Okay, now science confirmed. Now you got to realize, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is an it. This is an it. This is uh, Trenton Clump, and this is Red, and uh, they're it's. I'm an it. And the reason they're it's are here, they're a presence, and, and I have a, tried to have a pet. Didn't work out. I'm 71 years old, full-time RV, living in an RV. This is an RV I'm in right here. Excuse me. And so I got me some presences to have around me. Anyway, science concerns that confirmed concerns. <laughs> confirms that BMW and Prius drivers are the worst, okay? Da 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 The research examined how motorists in California, it's always California, behave when approaching intersections with pedestrians where they are required to stop. Da 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 da. We found, what they found is that people in luxury cars, specifically BMWs, Mercedes, were much more likely to flout traffic laws and go when it's not their turn. Okay. And in the San Francisco Bay Area, where the status symbol Prius was marked down as a luxury vehicle, researchers found their drivers to have a higher tendency to commit traffic infractions than most. Uh, listen, it makes sense when you think about it. The rich are busy. They have places to be, things to accomplish, deals to execute, unlike the poors who are content to drive slowly and courtesy, courteously as they waste their lives suckling from the teat of the government. So, anyway, so what he thinks is the people in the Priuses, or this scientific study, uh, kind of ties Prius people in with rich folks. I ain't rich folks. This is my third Prius, and I'm still poor. Why do I drive a Prius? Because it's economical. That's all. It's easy to get around in, easy to park, comfortable. I can go camping in it. I go camping in it all the time. Yeah, it's easy. Okay. Da-da-da-da-da, uh, da-da-da-da-da. This was done by the Houston, here's one done by the Houston Chronicle in uh, 2013. Why Prius owners drive like that? Let's see why Prius owners drive like that, whatever that is. Because you know if it's in a newspaper, it's got to be the facts, because no journalist would exaggerate a story or stretch the truth. None. Everyone knows that. Okay, he's even got a picture of a Prius in the article. He says his car is a 2001 Ford Mustang. This, thing was, this story was written in 2011, so it was his car's 10 years old. Six cylinders, five speed. 
Uh, it says, I don't drive it too aggressive, aggressively, but I do enjoy its ability to get moving quickly. And when I'm in that mood, I don't particularly want anyone slower in front of me. Was this guy on the highway or something? He, he built a highway and he, it's his highway, I guess. I used to get irked with Toyota Prius owners. Used to. I guess he's reformed. These guys are notorious for driving below posted speed limit. Well, I do. Not much. A little bit. Slowing to a stop far out from a stop sign or light. The reason they do that coasting stuff, it gets their mileage up. And also, they got resistive braking that he didn't know about. See, you can let off the gas pedal, and, and that resisting bra braking system will slow you down. You, got, you don't even have to touch your brakes. Uh, da, da, take, they, they coast to stop, da, 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 taking their sweet time when the light turn greens are creeping out. You know, jackrabbit starts are out because you want to keep the thing economical. I, I do that. Uh, taking their sweet time when the light turns green or creeping through parking lots so silently that they startle pedestrians. <laughs> I love my Prius. I, that's one of the reasons I love it. It's so quiet. You know, I do. I, I, for me to have a diesel would be out of the question. Totally. Okay? Click, 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 click. Anyway, uh, but I don't care if you want to have a diesel, you can get you one. I think it's a free country, free world. Get whatever the hell you can afford and do and do the hell out of it. Big deal. Anyway, uh, creeping through parking lots so silently they startle pedestrians. Sure, with my Mustang averaging about 15 miles per gallon in the city driving, I envy Prius owners' claims of 50 miles per gallon and better. But really, do they have to be so pokey? Well, now that we have the Toyota Prius in our household, he bought one. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Little catch 22 here. Now I'm one of those Prius drivers. Well, how about that? This guy's name is Dwight Silverman. He's Irish. You think? <laughs> so let's go back. We'll look at one more here and then I'll get out. But anyway, the whole, the whole reason I'm doing this video is for you guys that are Prius owners, non Prius owners. Or have an opinion about Prius owners, driving, characteristics, or whatever, let's just see what happens. Just post some comments. Throw some stuff up there and let's see what happens. Uh, here's one we're done in 2015. Let's see here. That's the most current we've got. Uh, oh, here's one right here. Prius drivers are the worst. Oh, how, this guy just cuts to the chase. This is on Facebook. I don't know if I can get to it. it says, I hate Prius drivers. He just comes right out and says, da 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 Anyway, but uh, he doesn't give any particulars. At least I, I don't know how to get to him. I'm not a Facebooker. Uh, da da dee. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Where's the one I had? Uh, here we go. Prius driver stereotype. Okay, so we're stereotypical people. This was done. Here's one done. This is done by the Huffing Huffington Puffington Post in 2013. It says, you are what you drive car stereotypes in L.A. Everything's in California. There's nothing in, in Kingsland, Texas. Nothing. Nothing. I don't get any press, and that's discrimination. Total, 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 total. That's journalistic ism. Something. Mitt Romney, oh, corporate, the guy below, da, 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 helping locals. Da, 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 da. Today, da, 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 da. he doesn't really say much. Uh, no. Scratch him. He doesn't have anything to say. He just blabs on about cars. and Okay, one more and then we'll get out of this thing. It says, why do most people hate Prius? I didn't know most people hated Prius. Did you? He looks good today, doesn't he? Grinning so, but Jane. Look at this guy. He just stares. Why do most people hate Prius? Wow, thank you guys. Your thoughts actually opened up and gave me new ideas. Your answers are much appreciated. Back when the first period, da 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 
Fast forward to today, and the Prius has sold millions. Gas prices are much higher, blah, blah, blah. In a nutshell, people hate, hate on the Prius because of an outdated straw man stereotype, stereotype of their owners, even though few current owners actually act that way. And the stereotypical owners being decried would have moved on to full electric like Nissan Leaf. I don't know what you're talking about there. The Prius is one of the few economy cars that doesn't have connotations of, oh, connotations, excuse me, connotations of college student are too poor to buy a real car. So I think that's part of it. There's also the stereotype of the PETA, P-E-T-A, donating, Birkenstock clad granola eater. Toss in some porky populism backlash. Those damn elitists think I should conserve resources. I'll show them as I break the bank at $100 a tank. That's kind of poetic. And lastly, it's a car whose design completely ignores the pleasure of driving. I didn't know that. All that said, since when do most people hate it? I don't know. Here's one that says, I hate the look of it. It's a great car, but it's so ugly. GM, GM's the only company that can make a good-looking hybrid. All right, well, that's the end of that, folks. We're, we're through looking at that. Okay, so what we found out is what? Nothing. There's no facts. There's no facts to substantiate it. So we need to come up with some ourselves via using this video as a vehicle, you like that, to get comments from the viewers. Both of you. So we'll get two comments. <laughs> I'll even post one myself. So we have three comments. Three comments. And that will be that will be a uh, majority. So then we can say that, well, I'll tell you what it'd be. It'd be like a committee decision. I know I've made, I think I said this in a video before. I used to be on boards of directors and stuff. There's nothing worse than a committee decision. Nothing worse. You know why? Say you got 15 people on a committee. Or let's break it down. Let's say 10. 10. You got 10 people on the committee. Every one of them have a different opinion. Every single one of them on a particular issue, whatever it happens to be. So what you do then, you start compromising. Okay? What you had on the table was a red golf ball. And you had to agree, everybody had to agree as to what color that golf ball was. And you're going to hear things, well, it looks kind of orangey to me. Or, well, I don't know, it's got a little pink in it. You know, it's got a little of this or a little of that. And the next thing you do, you compromise. And you say, well, today we discussed an orangey, orangey, pinkish, yellowish, round object. And nobody said, it's a damn red golf ball. Anyway, enough said. Comments on what? Comments on what you think about Prius drivers. Okay? Prius vehicles. Prius drivers particularly. Are they courteous? Not courteous. Are they stupid? Are they smart? Are they rich or poor? Are they, do you like them or do you dislike them? If you dislike them, why? If you like them, why? You know, let's stick to some issues. Okay, so in, and, and, yeah, anything you want to discuss. If you're a big truck driver on a highway or whatever and you've been irritated by Priuses, let's hear from you, okay? So, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, by USA Made when you can, drink plenty of water, and take deep breaths. Notice these guys didn't take a deep breath. You see that? They didn't. They, they can't. <laughs> I got them. <laughs> take a deep breath, baby. Nothing. This guy over here, zero. Anyway, so I know I'm a little nutty, but that's just the way I am. I'm 71 years old. It ain't going to get no better. So, what else? I've said all that. Bye-bye from this it, this it, and this it. Enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, and let's hear something about Prius car drivers. Bye.